So before we came back, because we have to do some pruning, yeah, the employee had to do something he does not like to do. <laughs> I don't like buying new equipment. I know a lot of guys out there do, but I don't like spending money on new equipment. Well, you know what the worst part about it is, is that we already invested in a combi this year and you guys saw it burn up with yeah. battery hedge trimmers and it can be fixed i just haven't taken it to be fixed it's probably going to cost a hundred and i mean to me if it costs 180 dollars a fix i mean the new one was only 375 you know yeah. so but and once you fix something it's just never the same yeah it really isn't in my opinion because i fix it probably that's yeah. probably why right okay so in our opinion but still <laughs> even so like i even if somebody else fixes it, I just feel like maybe it's just never the same. Yeah. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. So we'll show you which one I ended up buying and we're going to get started on this mulch job. Now we're going to do it in sections only because There's the leaves are leaves. leaves are still falling. So for us to go and blow everything off again and try to mulch, um, we're just going to do little sections. I'm going to rake an area out. Rachel's going to take the mulch over there and do as much as she can. I'll probably have to do a lot of the hill. Yeah. I mean, unless we get ready. And then to... I'm going to go work on weeds because there's a lot of weeds. Yeah. So, so let's go. Why am I always recording you working? I don't know. Tell me about it. You're a hard worker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. I eat that tart. Okay. I better weed eat that too, right? Before we start. Yeah. I'm going to go down there, though. All the way by the rocks and yeah. stuff? Okay. So. So here's the new combi Rachel got me. It's the KM111R. I'm not sure what the last one I had it was. So I already put gas in it. I primed it a bunch of times. I The choke's on. So let me go ahead and see if I can fire this thing up. Okay, so it runs. I'm going to set you guys up down here to get Rachel starting to mulch all this.
I did the best I could with this. Now I have to clean everything out. Whew, those haven't been trimmed in. Well, we've been doing this property for three years. They haven't been trimmed in that long. Rachel's working on that. I think we're gonna have to leave soon and then come back because we have to go take a half a yard of mulch and finish where the sod place is before the mulch yard closes. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna start getting all this cleaned up. So we had planned to go to Asheville because there was a 10% chance of rain today. We had planned to go to back to Asheville and um, mulch the rest of that sod job. We only had a half a yard to do. We wanted to get it out of the way. Um, but obviously this is just the bottom end of this rain that we're gonna get here. So we'll be able to go back out and do some of that mulch over here, right? Yeah. The job we're doing now, at least until a certain time, and then yeah, we'll call it a day. We'll just go back and do this tomorrow. I'll have to text them and let them know. Because it's raining up there. Like, really raining. I mean, we have the mulch in the back of the truck already, but really, there's no reason in working in this. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I want to be able to make sure that, you know, we got all the final spots. So that we can be completely done. Okay, so we'll see what we can do. We'll go take a break and then go back out when this goes through, unless it like fills in and pours down rain all night. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to. I think tomorrow's supposed to rain more. 